Former April Wine bassist Steve Lang has died. He was 67. He came to the band in the mid-70s, filling the big shoes of former bassist Jim Clench, who had been with the band since their second album in 1972. Lang was with the band for their most popular era, playing bass on songs like You Won't Dance With Me, giving Roller that extra pop, giving a great intro to I Like To Rock, and rocking the notes to that big guitar, three guitar wall of sound on the end of I Like To Rock when Miles Goodwin, Brian Greenway, and Gary Moffat were doing sort of a tip of the hat thing to Satisfaction by the Stones and Day Tripper by the Beatles. Lang also played bass on their huge album Nature of the Beast from 1981 that featured their biggest U.S. hit, Just Between You and Me. He also let out his inner Greg Lake, who we lost in December, when April Wine covered a song from King Crimson's first album, 21st Century Schizoid Man. That was a tough bass line to do, and it was an impressive cover by April Wine. Greenway, who joined April Wine just a year after Lang, released the following statement today. It is with great sadness that I let you know that Steve Lang passed away last Saturday. I was in many bands with Steve, who was the bassist of April Wine from 75 to 84. All the big hits. Steve also did very well as a financial advisor for his own company. He was a friend for over 50 years. Steve was 67. My sincere condolences to his family. The guy that Steve Lang replaced in April Wine, Jim Clench, died on November 3rd, 2010. I had the pleasure of interviewing Jim and April Wine in the early 2000s. And it was funny when I met him, I, I kind of told him that the first time I saw April Wine in concert for that whole world's going crazy tour, I looked up and I thought, I hadn't heard. Where's Jim Clench? And I was actually looking at, at Steve Lang with hatred. And I told this to Jim Clench and he said, you know, Steve Lang was awesome. And by the way, Lang got a big welcome into the band via their first album that he was on. The Whole World's Going Crazy was the first in Canadian history to have platinum advanced sales orders. It reached number one in Canada on May 8, 1976. April Wine founder and leader Miles Goodwin released the following statement today. My dear friend Steve Lang passed away this weekend. Steve played bass with April Wine for years and his musicianship was exceptional. Steve was a very intelligent guy and used his smarts to do well in the music industry as a player, writer, and later in the world of finance. He was a nice man, a real gentleman. The last conversation I had with Steve was wonderful. My condolences to his family. He will be sadly missed. Donations can be made to Parkinson's Canada. Lang was born on March 24, 1949 in Montreal. He was one of the good ones. We will miss him and we tip our hats to his family and the April Wine family as well. And speaking of April Wine, we did a huge poll on the band last year and we had almost 10,000 votes from folks telling us what their favorite April Wine songs were. I finally read Miles Goodwin's book, which by the way is excellent. And I'm finally going to finish a three part best of April Wine songs of all time picked by you. Finally, it's coming out. Look for it in early March. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and uh, share our videos and comment on our videos. I'm John Bowden, this is Rock History Music. Mm -hmm.